Okay, welcome to day three of the flat and race 25. It's the Queen's Vars here at Ascot. So one mile, six furlong, group three for just the three-year-old. So Orpheus of Django is number one. Catra Saint for Paul Rhodes is two. Celestial Storm for Hiltop is three. Flexness for Carl Arganti is four. Sparrow Hawk for Jim Murray, five. Steady Olympico for Darren Thompson, six. The Wolfpack for Molly at Surfer, seven. Clear Sky for Darren Thompson, eight. Dancer Django is nine. My Fair Maiden, Joshua Sullivan is ten. Queen Anne for Paul Rhodes is eleven. Wildflower for David Robertson is twelve. Queen Anne, the favourite. They're in the gates. The rain coming down. The clouds are over. It is an English summer. So, you wait for them to settle down. They're going to be led by my fair maiden. It's a flex nest pushing through. Now I'm making a move with Catra Sank. My fair maiden for Catra Sank Fleckness. Here are silks of Orpheus. That side of that is Paul's Queen Anne. Widest of all at the moment is uh, Jim Murray's Sparrow Hawk. And he's being followed through by Wind Flower. And the other with silks of Dancer. John Morgan's Celestial Storm there. Clear Skies and Stadio Olimpico for Darren Thompson. And against the fence is the Wolf Pack. So my fair maiden still leading. The Monarchal is still left to travel. From Sparrow Hawk out wide in second. Fleckness against the fence is third. Pushing through his Catra Sank and Dancer. You know, the yellow silks of Orpheus. And it's still my fair maiden. Leads from Catra Sank in second. Mark Flair out wide. Flex Ness pushing through. Still. To second position, the one behind him following through is Queen Anne. The other silks of Orpheus and Dancer. Jim Murray Sparrow Hawk against the fence. Daddy Olympico and Clear Sky to Darren Thompson. John Morgan's horse moving out looking for room. And then the wolf pack bringing up the rear. So we're going inside the final seven now, and it's my fair maiden. Still leads by a couple to Flexness. Catra Sank's about six lengths off the lead. And a couple back to Wildflower Sparrow Hawk. Against the fence to Queen Anne, the favourite. So as you get down to the five furlongs now, it's My Fair Maiden still from Flexness. Catra Sank, Wildflower. Still sitting quietly on the fence is Queen Anne. So My Fair Lady, Maiden. And keep singing My Fair Lady. The rain on the plane falls mainly on the splain. No, no, on the plane, on the rain in Spain. Can't remember that. My Fair Maiden still leads us. Getting married in the morning. I'm doing all my fair lady songs. Anyway, it's my fair maiden that heads for home inside the three. Leads by about four. Moving out of the pack now. Moving well is Queen Anne, the favourite on the outside of that is Stadio Olimpico. Flexness needs to do a little, little bit from there. So as we get to the two furlongs, it's my fair maiden. Being pressed now by Queen Anne and Stadio Olimpico. Furlong and a half left to run. It's going to be between these three without doubt. It's my fair maiden by a neck to Queen Anne. Stadio Olimpico on the outside. These three hit the furlong pole together. It's Queen Anne now, just moves forward by half a length to Stadio Olimpico on his outside. My fair maiden's got the round to help, but it's not. And it's Queen Anne just by her nose from Stadio Olimpico. Stadio Olimpico pushes forward. My Queen Anne, oh, Queen Anne, Stadio Olimpico. I'm putting money in the dead heat. Let's see what we get. Good rinse there. Oh, says Stadio Olimpico. Beating the favourite. Bookies want that, but a dead heat. And it is a dead heat. Stadio Olympico and Darren Thompson and Queen Anne for Paul Rhodes both take a share of the Queen's bars here. Third was My Fair Maiden for Joshua Sutherland. Fourth was Celestial Storm for Hilltop Stables running on well. And Flexness for Carl Arrogante hung on for fifth.